someone on our board is going through and matching up. If this were episode, for example, uh, 250, well, they're going back. And what happened on Nitro 250? They're doing the comparison. Yeah, 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 yeah. Son of a bitch. On the corresponding WCW Monday Nitro was this one. There was a bloodbath. Really? Brian, Rob is here Brian, to discuss Brian. Urinal Gate. I would like to offer my sincerest, deepest apologies to one Mr. Don Callis. Okay. I, I, no, let me. Hold on a second. Before, this is, this is second. how you start your story that is, yeah. this is the truth? Yeah, yeah. you're telling Look. me that I didn't tell the truth and you're starting the story by apologizing I'm, to Don Callis? I'm not saying it didn't happen. I'm saying your uh, portrayal of okay. how it went down is vastly incorrect. Okay. See the guy, you know, wearing the shoes and the suit and the bald head. And I'm thinking, oh, this must be a fan cosplaying as Don Callis, because why the hell would Don Callis be in a public restroom? That's a great question. He hates Marx as, almost as much as Vinny hates me. Not a gimmick. I don't hate you, Rob. You hate me, Vinny, and it's okay. I understand. We had a polite conversation on <laughs> day. I shook your hand. I was going to say, I'm sorry, I would normally not do this, but Here we blah, are. blah, 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 blah. Before I even got out, I'm sorry, he turns to me and he says, men's room isn't the place to start a conversation, pal, and walks off. You're trying to claim that this guy didn't scream, fuck you, He did get not, the fuck out of here. He did not scream, fuck you. I just kind of have a rule that if I have my schwanz in my hand, I don't talk to anybody. Unless it's, you know, do the curtains match the drapes. Oh, would you stop, Craig? <laughs> You're the worst instigator. You're one of the reasons these problems happen. Excuse me, I wasn't even there. Well, if you'd been there, maybe you would have talked some sense into this guy. Doubtful. I like the show. When the show's over, I enjoyed myself. But where is a thread that connects all of these shows? That makes you want to tune into the next show? The big cliffhanger to lead you to collision. A dynamite cliffhanger leads you to the next dynamite. Or a dynamite three weeks down the road. It doesn't lead you to collision. A collision cliffhanger doesn't lead you to dynamite. It's like... There's so many things going wrong here in the middle of a, like, everything's okay. Does that make sense? Am I the only one? <laughs> Does anybody know what I'm talking about here? No, 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 I get it, yes. But I was certainly not as impassioned as you were. Today is the day we spin the wheel mm -hmm. and make the deal. Edward Laredo has maybe his most pertinent question ever. Granny, would you like to wrestle on my show? <laughs> Definitely not. Granny, would you be surprised if someone in wrestling was an alien in disguise? No. I mean, she thinks that uh, cats are aliens, so. Hmm. Just dogs and cats. Granny, you're saying that dogs and cats are aliens from other planets? Yes. Okay. Fair enough. My cat downstairs um, came here in a UFO. Space. Right. Yeah. And cats drink out of what? What planet are these, these cats from? Hmm. Good call, Craig. Good call. <laughs> It all making sense now. Sam yeah. Fines here says, I tried cauliflower rice because Brian made it sound so good it was not never again. He's right. I said cauliflower rice risotto. The cauliflower rice itself is horrible. You're just eating cauliflower. William Regal versus Vince McMahon's son, Hornswoggle. Mm, yes. I you like know Black those. Label Pro almost put together me versus Hornswoggle? Oh, you're kidding. Just never meant to be. Uh, I'm going to read something, then I want you guys to tell me what impression you get of it. Rubber neck, five cents a stretch. What? What? <laughs> I can't see too well. You need okay. some new glasses. I need new eyes. Technology was kind of the theme for the... 90s. 19. I can't do it, Brian. I okay. It. We'll skip that one this week. Sorry. No problem. <laughs> it's stuck here on John in Memphis Chop Contest. We can only be so lucky. This is going to be the first fall. Fall number one. Of our contest at the Brian and Vinny Live Show coming up in Vegas. Thumb Wrestling, best right. of three. Blindfolded. <laughs> Musical chairs. Oh, Let me rephrase that. Musical chair. Best of three. Here we go. Go. Oh, that's a good spin. Oreo stacking contest. <laughs> okay. 
It's a one fall by Can him. I still chop John? John in Memphis will strap the belt around the winner's waist, and the winner will be allowed to chop John. All right. Wait, I'm not in part of it. Well, you... <laughs> They go to Gorilla Monsoon, who announces that he has an injured larynx, not a larynx. Okay. I went, but... wait a second. Hold on a minute. He said larynx. <laughs> We've been joking about larynx for the past 40 fucking years. This guy said larynx. So I thought, okay. Well, they said later they're going to talk to the doctor. Right. The doctor. Mm -hmm. Well, they go to this guy who ain't no doctor. No. And this motherfucker said larynx. So, now, now, I gotta find out what the fuck's going on. <laughs> what is fucking going on? Is this the Mandela effect? Look, he says, see! And he points to the camera, and he grabs S.D. Jones, who I don't think thought any of this was gonna happen. He grabs S.D. Jones by the head and pushes his face right up to the camera. Yes. There's an insane close-up of S.D. Jones kind of panicking. Say hi! And you see S.D. Jones facing this far away. Hi. And George out of nowhere just says, Kangaroo! So John and Memphis has agreed that he will take the number of chops that uh, end up here as I give it a spin. Look at that spin. My God. Three. Oh! Did I mention it was best of three? You did not. All right, let's do it again. Seven! So I just best of three means you spin it three times? Well, if I spin it three times, whichever one's the highest is the one he gets. Gotcha, okay. That's how best of three works. Here sure, we go. okay. Seven it is! Seven, how about that? That's the way it's going to go, John. Seven chops you will receive from the winner of the YWF World Heavyweight Championship. When they announced Will Ospreay versus Roderick Strong and Will won that wacky match on Dynamite, I thought, man, that'd be a great match, but that feels ice cold. Well, here we are a month later. That feels like a main event. Well, they, they did have done a such a great job with that match in particular. So Swerve yanks Christian out of the car. They have a giant brawl. It ends with uh, Christian getting DDT'd in the roof of the car. Nana gets the chair that he carries around in his SUV out. Swerve goes to the concerto, but Christian escapes and runs away. This whole thing, start to finish, was just great. Maybe the best thing they've done with Swerve since before he won the title. Does anybody think Christian has even a 1% chance of winning? Nobody does. So I feel like with a guy like that, you got to put Christian over strong and give Swerve his revenge on the pay-per-view. And when the show was over, I was like, what's less than 0%? Like, can you have negative percent chance of winning? Because that's where he was after this angle here. So from that perspective, I was like, nah, I don't know. Malachi Black faced Kyle O'Reilly in the blood sport match I never knew I needed. Yeah, this was the best match on the show. The lights go out. And they dropped 500 <laughs> fucking gallons Jeez. of blood onto Malachi from the ceiling. Tony Schiavone's like, what in the hell? And I thought, this poor guy. Flashbacks. 2000. WCW. All those blood baths. Including the ones where they missed the fucking guy with the blood. Someone on our board is going through and re-watching, or at least matching up. If this were episode, for example, uh, 250... Well, they're going back, and what happened on Nitro 250? They're doing the comparison. Yeah, 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 yeah. Son of a bitch. On the corresponding WCW Monday Nitro was this one. There was a fucking bloodbath. Really? Yeah. Tony gets the hot tag. Everyone loves her. She's going crazy with comedy spots. She's the, the, the drop toe hold where one woman is in the other's crotch. And she stands up and points like Nelson Munson says, Ha ha! As awesome as that O'Reilly black kickboxing match was it had maybe a third of the heat as this just goofy cartoon comedy I still can't believe this actually happened Brian Danielson versus Sutton Singh and I guess I thought maybe it would be better than it was but at the end of the day it was a weird match on paper it was a poor match in the ring mm -hmm. and they couldn't even beat Sutton Singh no it didn't help anyone <laughs> so Darby comes out on stage wielding a flamethrower this is not a metaphor or a euphemism. It's a weapon that throws flame. Darby Allen just looks right wielding a flamethrower. It's a natural fit. NXT opened with a four Oh my god, that thing minute, went forever. Jesus. Four minute video package. And I am not complaining, by the way. They spent four minutes 
telling you what happened last week to set the table for that night's show. And, you know, their numbers are not bad. NXT is is up year over year, and they're not afraid to spend a lot of time doing video packages and recaps and reminding you of all of their storylines. Wesley has been gone for yeah, how many yeah. months? All yeah. he wants is his North American title back. Yeah. You've got a giant monster with the belt. The fucking story tells itself. Well. And then Gallus shows up, and now Joe Coffey's in the match. Yeah. And then, like, what the fuck does Gallus have to do with Trick Williams? They do that Trick Williams segment later, yeah. and it's like all of a sudden Gallus' music hits. And I'm like, what in the fuck are they doing in this storyline now? What does Gallus have to do with fucking Trick? Nothing. They're just all over the show in weird places they don't need to be in. They say Trick ain't tricking them. We know you attacked Noam or Javon or both. We want you to grow up, be a man, admit you're a low life and don't deserve to be NXT champion. But Lash in her amazing bodysuit snaps at all this. She insists Trick did not attack Noam. To which I believe was Oro, Oro who accused her of lying with Trick. Or as he put it. Yes. Are you shaking this man's dreads? Whose side are you on? Carmen and Natty win. They leave. Shayna, who is doing everything here to save Lola over and over again. In the end, Lola had a chance to win, but chose to dance instead. And she goes to offer a hand, but Lola kicks her head off mm. and shakes her ass some more. And Ava comes out and she says, so you don't like her? And she says more. Oh, you don't like her? And she says more. You two don't like each other? And she keeps saying more. I want to see a fight. Say less, she says. Only, You've been saying more for two minutes now. So she books the match for Battleground. She integrates the mic, says, no, underground. In the UFC building, appropriately enough. Yeah. Maybe they'll actually do it in the octagon. That'd be kind of cool, actually. They should, actually. Yeah. And uh, that was that. It was, as I noted here, a pretty good show all in all. I mean, it's not perfect. You know, it's developmental and it's not developmental at the same time. Yeah. But I thought that it was a good professional wrestling show, even if the professional wrestling wasn't all good. Fair.